joined today by State Senator Susan Kent. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. So who do you represent? So my district, it's Senate District 53, and it includes the entire city of Woodbury. Plus, I have the southern parts of Maplewood and Oakdale, and then I also have Landfall. Well, as a Woodbury resident, I'm glad that you're representing us. Glad to be here, a Woodbury resident myself. <laughs> Very good. So what have you been focusing your attention on during this current session? So always a lot. You know, I mean, I think we're up to close to 3,000 bills have been introduced. So there are a lot of things that are being discussed, a lot of priorities. It's interesting with some changes in both the House and obviously with the new governor, um, you get some different conversations going. So that's been definitely interesting. For me, it's about focusing on working Minnesotans and working families and making sure that everybody has a chance to, to succeed and do well, that our kids get a great education, that people have a, a accessible and affordable health care. And, and infrastructure is another one that's very important to me and I know in our community to make sure that we have an infrastructure that serves that economy and you know helps everybody have a bright future. Very good. Of all those things that you're working on, all very important things, is there something in particular that um, you would like to get accomplished this year? So one of my main bills, and I've worked on it for a few years, is the paid family and medical leave bill. Um, that's getting a lot of attention. Uh, it's something that's happening in states around the country. We're really recognizing that for too many working people, they just can't take time off for a new baby. Half of mothers really don't get any leave at all um, when they have a baby, uh, not to mention fathers. Uh, and then illnesses or caring for an ill child or aging family member, it's really hard and, and when I say illness, I mean a major, a significant illness or an injury. Uh, and so this is a plan that would allow employees and employers to contribute into a pool, and then we share the risk on a larger pool, so that keeps the cost low for individuals. Um, and then it's possible to take that leave and get a partial wage replacement, depending on how much you earn, so that when you come back, you've finished with this event in your life and you can come back and be the successful worker that you were before. And it's great for businesses. It's especially great, I think, for small businesses because big businesses already do this. They have the ability to, to make these offers of benefits uh, because they're big enough. Um, but for small businesses, it's harder. So this, I think, really helps level the playing field. Wow, that's yep. a really important one. Yes. That's great. Yep. Um, what's been the biggest obstacle for you or biggest challenge this session? People love to talk about bipartisanship, but uh, not always happening. Um, I have only had one bill heard this session, and that's true of a lot of my colleagues. I have a bill that's being carried by Representative Jurgens in Cottage Grove. It's a really good lunch policy for school kids, um, totally non-controversial, and I can't get a hearing on it in the Senate, which is really unfortunate because it's just about kids. This isn't anything that benefits me, you know. So we'll keep working on it. <laughs> Wow, no, definitely. Uh, I know you've been in office for quite a few years now. Um, and on the, the subject you just kind of mentioned, um, is there something in particular or things in particular that you've learned kind of along the way that you apply to what you're, how you do things today? Um, it has been an incredible journey. This is my seventh session. Um, I'm now the assistant DFL leader in the Senate uh, representing the suburban districts, uh, which, is, which is a great privilege and an honor to get to look at this process from a different perspective. Uh, I have learned so much. And it really is about working together. It is about knowing who all the interested parties are in any given issue so that they're brought to the table and you can hear people out. And that's how you can hopefully build a successful bill that gets done, because ultimately that's what matters, being able to make some progress. I agree with that completely. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, you know, it's it's a wonderful time of year. Obviously, um, things are warming up in the weather. Things are warming up in session. Uh, all the budget targets are out, and that means that we're really coming down into the final crunch time. I like to say we've got one job in the odd-numbered years, and that is to come up with our balanced biennial two-year budget. And so we're just working hard at it, and I want to make sure that as we do that, we're, we're taking care of, of, of people in our communities and, and that the state of Minnesota is working for, for the people. That's fantastic. State Senators Kent, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much.